things continue to progress in the world of Apple betas. Just not long after beta 4, we have beta 5 of iOS 12. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here for Apple Insider and we're going to show you everything new in the 5th beta of iOS 12. Starting off with Control Center. Nothing functionality wise has changed, but you might be able to tell that the actual shade is slightly darker than it was in the past. It's hard to tell on its own, but if we jump over here to my iPad where I took a few screenshots before and after, it was before and after, there's definitely a difference in the darkness in the actual control center. After, and once more, there's before. So just a little bit darker in all of the little controls. You may also notice that the background has improved saturation. Apple lowered the saturation in the past and now you can tell it's a lot more vivid, which is exactly what we're expecting it to be. Inside of the music app, in iOS 12 you can search for lyrics and now there's a little explainer box that's saying new in Apple Music, search for lyrics, type a few words from a song that you want to find. So just a little explainer tutorial on a new feature coming to the music app. Jumping over to photos, we were greeted with a new splash screen, letting you know of a few new features coming to the app, including the personalized for you section, the ability to share your moments easier, and new better ways to search. Not only do we have the new splash screen, Going over, we actually have new icons in the Albums tab. So you can see all these here for animated screenshot bursts, time-lapse panorama, all of these things. There was no icons before. It was very stark and empty, just a list of text. Now there are appropriate icons to go along with those words. Moving on to screen time. If we open up settings and then go into the screen time section, we will notice that family members have been removed and this use screen time passcode has been moved up in the list. In previous betas, use screen time password was towards the bottom and family members would show up here. So as long as they're not children and you have family sharing turned on, they'll still show up here under your Apple ID, but they're no longer going to appear inside of the screen time area. They might if they're children or if they actually have an iOS 12 device, but as far as we can tell, it has been removed. Pushing along, we're gonna open the Apple Watch app. Now in the past, we showed you that in beta three, there was a huge list of third-party data sources that would show up for the Siri watch face. See here, pretty much every app that I have on my phone was showing up in this list, or at least ones that offered Apple Watch apps. Now, in this latest beta, that list has been parred down significantly. I'm not really sure what the designation in here that makes them show up versus not show up. It could be their integration with Siri in general that makes them show here, but the list is much shorter than it was in the previous two betas. If you have any idea what makes them show up here, whether they're ones with Apple Watch apps or ones that integrate with Siri, make sure to throw up your suggestions down below in the comments. When looking at Notification Center and you 3D touch on that icon to remove all notifications, the clear all notifications text is now smaller than it was before. So small change, just slightly smaller text. Then lastly, jumping once more into settings, then into battery. Apple's battery health feature, which previously was designated with a big beta warning on it, that's been removed. So now it appears it is more or less out of beta. It's of course still in the iOS 12 beta, but we can expect when iOS 12 actually launches, it will launch in full and no longer be a beta. So that is our list of everything new here in beta 5. If you found anything else, let us know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.